Mr. President, complete staff work or CSW. That was a mantra of President Fidel Valdez Ramos. And we all learned that from him at some time in our public and professional lives. FVR reinvented politics in the way he conducted extensive consultations with various sectors of our country, advocating for a cohesive culture, knowing how divisive Philippine politics can be. He envisioned the Philippines to be a society characterized by equity, tolerance, harmonious pluralism, justice, and full respect for human rights. Despite being a soldier, the 12th president of the Philippines veered away from brutal approach in dealing with armed conflicts. In, instead, he advocated for formal peace negotiations, peace talks with communists and Moro separatists, and pushed for the repeal of the anti-subversion law. It was during the Ramos administration that the government peace panel signed major peace agreements with the National Democratic Front of the Philippines, such as the Hague Joint Declaration, the Joint Agreement on Safety and Immunity Guarantees, JASIG, the Comprehensive Agreement on Respect for Human Rights and International Humanitarian Law, CARIL. And I was a young journalist then, Mr. President, who covered all this, especially the talks which went on for several weeks in Indonesia, in Jakarta. In the face of crisis and challenges, FVR revealed himself to be a nation's true father, an indefatigable and disciplined public servant. I don't know of anyone who works such long hours as he, from perhaps 4 a.m. up to midnight, amazing human being. He also focused on unifying our people. After winning the elections in 1992, as a minority president, is that what we call it, by a hairline, but steering the economy to become Asia's rising tiger. He sincerely desired to unify the country by means of peace, but waged an all-out war against the ills that afflicted our society and economy. FER was a leader accessible and reachable to those who desired to be seated in the highest position in government as well as to any other elected leaders, regardless of political affiliation. He has demonstrated himself to be a leader whose heart is in the right place. And on a very personal note, Mr. President, FVR was the first person who encouraged me to run for senator at the young age of 37 years old. A young journalist then interviewing him at the Rizal Room in Malacanang when he broached the topic, do you want to run? I know you're a graduate of the NDCP, also his alma mater. And I said, no, no, please, hindi po. But then the rest is history. Mr. President, FER's death is a loss to our nation. We as a people, we owe him much. I owe him much too. Having said that, we thank you, Mr. President, for your lasting legacy to our nation and our people. Rest in peace, FER. We love you.